Total eclipses occur when the moon passes directly between the Earth and the sun, blocking solar light. Since 1900, only 12 have touched the U.S. mainland, most of them only glancingly. On average, a total solar eclipse will happen where you live only once every 375 years. Why are they so rare? Well, the sun is about 400 times larger than the moon, but the sun is also 400 times farther away, so the two bodies appear about the same size to us on Earth. The moon orbits the Earth once each month, so why doesn't its shadow touch the Earth, causing an eclipse with each pass? Partly because the moon's orbit is tilted slightly, which causes its shadow to miss the Earth most of the time. But it's also because the moon's orbit is elliptical. For much of its path, the moon is farther away from Earth and appears too small to block out the sun completely. Those eclipses are called annular. Only when the eclipse occurs at the moon's closest approach is a total eclipse possible. Even then, the narrow band of totality usually tracks over water or away from population centers. That's why this eclipse on April 8th is so special. As it crosses the Texas border at about 1.27 p.m. local time, cities closest to the center of the path, like Waco, Cleveland, and Buffalo, could witness up to four minutes or more of darkness. In all, 31 million U.S. residents live in the path of the eclipse. Even if you don't live in the path of totality, most of the U.S. will experience some level of darkness. It's a two-hour spectacle that you don't want to miss, because the next total solar eclipse to hit the U.S. mainland won't be until 2044.